The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner going out at daybreak to hire workers for his vineyard. He made an agreement with the workers for one denarius a day and sent them to his vineyard. Going out at about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, You go to my vineyard too, and I will give you a fair wage. So they went. At about the sixth hour, and again at about the ninth hour, he went out and did the same. Then at about the eleventh hour, he went out and found more men standing round. And he said to them, Why have you been standing here idle all day? Because no one has hired us. They answered. He said to them, You go into my vineyard too. In the evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his bailiff, Call the workers and pay them their wages, starting with the last arrivals and ending with the first. So those who were hired at about the eleventh hour came forward and received one denarius each. When the first came, they expected to get more, but they too received one denarius each. They took it, but grumbled at the landowner. The men who came last, they said, have done only one hour, and you have treated them the same as us, though we have done a heavy day's work in all the heat. He answered one of them and said, My friend, I am not being unjust to you. Did we not agree on one denarius? Take your earnings and go. I choose to pay the last comer as much as I pay you. Have I no right to do what I like with my own? Why be envious? Because I am generous. Thus the last will be first and the first last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, The wisdom of God is the folly of men. And the wisdom of men is folly in the eyes of God. You understand how it is very difficult to understand what is fair, what is unfair, what is equality, what is unequal. When we live in this world, we begin to measure our work. How many hours have I worked? How long have I worked? And how much do I deserve? And then we begin to compare with those may work just for some time. Those who do not have work, those who are powerless, those who are helpless. And we show that we are more powerful than others. Dear brothers and sisters, the fairness that you and me think is not what God thinks. The hard work that we think is not the type of hard work God thinks. 
the way we practice religion, the way we become brothers and sisters to each other, is not the way that God thinks. God thinks very differently. Because He is the Creator, because He is the Father, the Mother, and He is the Protector, and He is everyone, everything to us. Dear brothers and sisters, if you see in this parable what you just read, you see the landowner looks with pity at those who are waiting at the junctions for work. No one had hired them for no fault of theirs. They were waiting there just for someone to call them to work. What will they eat if they do not get work? In the olden days, families were very big in number. The father and mother, when they go to work, what will they eat amidst so many children? They would not have enough to eat. The landowner thinks in terms of feeding each one because everyone has stomach. If they do not have work, they would starve. Some he goes and picks up at the third hour, some at sixth hour, ninth hour, and at the end at eleventh hour, the last hour. But he pays the same to each one because it is necessary for them to survive. Or their families, their children, would not live alive, would not be alive. There are different ways in which we can think about God's love, God's mercy, and God's equality. But not in terms of the worldly way. I have worked from morning to evening, and someone just arrives now, and they are paid as much as I am paid. The landowner says, I have paid you as much as I have and you have agreed upon. In the same way, I have agreed upon the others and they have agreed upon me for one denarius a day, for that hour, for the three hours, for the five hours or six hours of their work or for the eight hours of work. So, my dear friends, many a times we think that we can accumulate and accumulate and accumulate and we call it my hard-earned money, my hard-earned wealth. But I never think that I am unfair to the others when they have nothing to eat in their homes, when they have no proper jobs, when they do not have proper employment we do not think of all this. Should I not think that my brother, my sister is hungry when I have got plenty to eat and even much more in my bands preserved for years and years to come? And when I die, I am buried, I become dust, but all the money, the wealth, the property remains on earth. What will it happen? What will happen to it? The poor are dying. If you had to share what you had with others, you would die happy death. You would die a saint. You would die as a person, a good person in the eyes of God and in the eyes of everyone. So, my dear friends, if it is your own hard work, then you should make it fruitful by sharing it with others and not leave it in the bands and the moth and the worms eat it up after your death. Let your hard work be shared with others. Let your goodness, your virtuous life be shared with others. Let all the character, 
that you acquire through your parents and your religion be shared with one another so that we can live a joyful and happy life. Amen.